Hi, it's Kerry, and in this video, we're gonna go through indexing your affiliate stores in the search engines, ranking your affiliate stores in the search engines. We're gonna go through the Index Now service and the Index Now feature that we have added to Fresh Store. So we have a little bit to get through, but first I want to say that this is not gonna be a complicated video. We're gonna have an overview of how the search engines work, which is important to understand when you're doing SEO, when you're marketing your, your affiliate stores, when you're trying to get good rankings in the search engines, it's always useful to know how they work. So let's get straight into it with the first question, what is indexing? And you might have heard this before, indexing is when the search engines are finding and processing the websites that it wants to use in the search. So for example, Google here, you can see on the screen, I've highlighted this because it's, it's so fascinating, but Google has hundreds of billions of web pages in its index. So that's what it means. An index is a list, it's a database, it's a collection of the websites that it has to choose from. Google will add new websites to the index and it will remove websites from the index. But it's not just about websites, it's about specific pages. So if you imagine your affiliate store, you have a home page, you have a product page, you have a category page, you have many, many pages. Google might only have your home page in the index or it might have 10 pages out of 100 in the index. And over time, it, it might add more pages to the index, it might take some away. That's up to Google, depending on what it thinks about the store and the website. And we'll go into more detail on that. But that is what indexing is. Indexing is the process of the search engine finding those pages and adding them to its collection, its database. So let's talk about how search engines index your site. So this process of indexing happens through what's called crawling by what I like to call spiders and sometimes called bots, but it's just a piece of code. It's a, it's a process that goes through your website and collects the information from your website. So we call this a spider originally because the spider is crawling across the web, the World Wide Web, which we also don't use anymore. Um, but it's just the idea that there is something crawling through all the pages of your website and collecting the information. And this process happens continuously. For popular websites, it will be happening all day, every day. Uh, Google or the other search engines will be consistently looking at the website, looking for changes. If you imagine a popular news website, there's new information all the time and Google wants that new information all the time. So it will continuously look. However, with smaller and uh, affiliate stores and websites that are just starting, Google will crawl much less, maybe once every few days, maybe once every week or something like that. And we look for ways to in increase Google's crawling of our website and store and therefore in increase the number of pages from our store in the Google index. So hopefully that makes sense. We just have this idea that Google is constantly visiting our affiliate store, constantly looking at the new pages, constantly looking at the changes. So let's talk a little bit about why your site might not be indexed. If it's brand new, Google doesn't know about it yet. So it needs some kind of reason to come and index uh, and look at your store. And generally you can open a, a Google Search Console account and you can add your sitemap, you can do things like that. Same for all the websites. If your store has some backlinks from other websites, again, the spiders will find your website and will start to crawl it. Okay, let's take a look at Index Now and how that fits in. Index Now is a service that will tell the search engines when your pages have changed on your store. Now let's go back to what Google said about how many pages they have in their index. They have hundreds of billions. It's an incredible amount. It's a number that we can't even begin to imagine. But the point is that the search engines have a lot of work to do. They have a lot of pages to index, to check again, to recheck, to crawl, to look over and over again, several times a day or a week or whatever it might be. So the search engines are always looking for ways to optimize that. Index now gives them the opportunity to optimize that because it turns it around our stores will now tell the search engines, a page has changed, you should come and check it out. And that difference means that the search engines are more likely to come and look at your 
your store because they trust the information you're sending and because it means that they can be more optimal. And it also means that when the search engines do come to crawl your store, they look at the best pages. They don't go and look at, for example, your privacy policy or um, you know an old product that you haven't updated for a long time. They come and look at the new changes. If you've updated your homepage, if you changed an article, if you've added a new article, if you've added a new category or changed the content or the meta title or the description, any of these changes will go into Index Now, and Index Now will tell the search engines, the ones down here, Bing, Navet, etc., and then the search engines will know the best pages to to look at. So that's the point of Index Now, and it increases the indexing, therefore increases the search engine activity on your stores, and therefore increases the chances you're going to get good rankings from your stores because the search engines are looking at the best pages, the pages you've changed, the pages you've optimized, the new pages, the new content. So that's how it helps. And we have a feature built into Fresh Store for this. So let's take a look at the feature itself, even though the feature is automatic. Like I said before, when you make a change to any product or anything within your store, it's gonna go and tell the search engines. But we do have, where are we under traffic? We do have this index now section and feature to tell you a little bit more about what it's all about and to allow you to customize it if you want to. So we have this option first up here. And this, what this is gonna do is submit maybe around 30 pages from your store as if they are brand new or just updated. So it's kind of a, a boost, but I wouldn't recommend running that all the time because it defeats the point of index now. It's just good every now and again or to kickstart your store if it's brand new. That being said, it's all automatic, so you don't need to do this. Now, if you want to, if you're focusing your search engine rankings on a particular area of your store, you can disable some of these. For example, if I only wanted to focus on getting my products ranked, which is a good idea, because it's it's always better to focus down on something and get the results for that and then build up, you might want to just disable all the rest and just say, okay, I only want index now to be looking at the products. And that means that you have a better chance of your products getting indexed and ranked at a cost of your other pages, maybe, but the products are the ones that are going to get you the money. So it might be a good, a good place to start. It doesn't mean you always have to leave it like this. You can then say, okay, now I want to start focusing on articles as well. Or you might want to do it the other way around and say, I want, to, I want my articles to be indexed first, get a good standing in the search engine and then go for products. That's up to you. But if you leave them on by default, it's gonna do a great job anyway. It's just some options if you want to be a bit more advanced, if you have a, an idea that you want to push through with. The API key, you don't need to worry about. We have a guide here that we'll have a little bit more of a look at. Now let's take a look at, yeah, this in action. We can actually see if we go to a product and we go and save a, a product. So we make a little change and then we'll see how it works in the background because we have some logs that we can look at. So let's just say, um, yeah, we're just gonna knock this off because it's duplicated from the title to the subtitle. That's it, that's the only change I'm making, but when I click save, this is now going to, uh, in the background, tell index now, and then index now is gonna tell the search engines, and we should see it around here somewhere when it's actually processed. So there we go, we have, um, yeah, index now submit success. So that's actually been done. You can check that out yourself in your own store just to make sure that, yeah, things are, things are working fine. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about how index now helps your search engine rankings, your indexing. First, an important point in this is that it shows the search engines that your store is active. If you're constantly pinging the search engines through index now to say, hey, there's a new product, there's a new article, there's an update here, there's an update there. It shows the search engines that your store is active. So it's a good indicator that it's worth the search engines coming to look at your store. Now, second, obviously, is it helps the search engines focus on the right areas. So if you've just made some great changes to your homepage, you've optimized the keywords, you've optimized the meta description, the title, the search engines are now gonna look at that probably before anything else, because you've just saved it, you've just updated it and that's exactly what you want. In the other way around, it might take some time before the search engine finds those changes on your homepage. So it speeds things up in that way. It helps you to get those rankings faster. 
it helps you, yeah, to get all your indexing done in the right priority. So yeah, and it of course increases the chances of you ranking because of that. It increases the chance that the search engines are gonna keep coming back to your store to keep looking and to keep organizing and to keep indexing more pages. So that is the index now feature. That's how it benefits your stores. And one more thing on Google is we already have the sitemap feature within uh, your, your stores. I'll just show you quickly. Where are we? Traffic, traffic. Yeah, we have the sitemap feature and we have a separate video on Google Search Console and how to add your sitemap to Google. And that is the way that Google will check your stores and get your pages. And that works absolutely brilliantly. So there's nothing to think you're missing here or you're not gonna get indexed on Google. So that's great. I hope you enjoyed the video. All of these concepts of indexing, how the search engines work is super useful. Like I said, some more things you can look at are the Google Search Console sitemaps here. Also, there is a full guide on Index Now. If you do want to read more about Index Now and understand a little bit more about what I've said in the video, here is the, the guide here. And click that button. For some reason, it's not working on my laptop, but it should do <laughs> for you. And yeah, I'll have to check that. But you can search in here also. If you search for Index Now, you will get the guide also. And yeah, there's some more reading. I hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, any feedback, I'd love to hear from you. Comment on this video. Don't forget, if you're on YouTube, subscribe as well because we're always releasing these videos to help you rank and index your stores and to get better results. So that's all from me. Take care. Speak soon. Bye.